Did you know that much of Coca-Cola's history started right here in Chattanooga, Tennessee? Our Paul Shaheen has the century-old story in today's Three in Your Town report. You all know the story, 1886. A pharmacist in Atlanta invents Coca-Cola. It was just a fountain drink at the time, but not long after, two businessmen here in Chattanooga convinced the pharmacist to bottle and sell the product bottled right here in Chattanooga. Since then, more than a century, Chattanooga and Coca-Cola have gone hand in hand. Present day, they still do it, but there's no museum to be found at the site. But we found one here in Chattanooga with our new friends, George and Linda. The aforementioned George and Linda, how can you tell, right? <laughs> George, Linda, this is your Coca-Cola party room. Um, you didn't collect this stuff overnight, did you? No, we didn't. <laughs> how many years? We started in 1992, I would say. It started with the bottle. He never liked a flea market. I did. I, I drug him to an antique show, <laughs> a flea market, and he found a, a Coke bottle from his hometown, Wyandotte, Michigan. And it grew from that. Yeah. Well, we yeah. probably have around 1,700 or more bottles. I have over 1,000 different cities from when they put the city's names on the bottom of the bottles. I like the Sprite Boy. What's that? That's, that's him. <laughs> Okay. It's called the Sprite Boy. That's the Sprite and Boy? This is from 1942 during World War II. Wow. If you read it, it says, please only one carton of Coca-Cola to a customer. That's because they had rationing in World War II. Oh my. And this is something that Linda wanted. Here's a print they made for the anniversary. We got, the bottling company gave yes. us that. Oh, they did. The bottling company right here? In Chattanooga. Yes. A lot of the stuff has personal meaning. Now this bottle here, it's probably not it's probably not really valuable to anyone but me. Oh, what's that it, say? George labeled it Linda's birthday bottle. It was made the year that I was born, and it was made in the city that I was born in. What Rock, city is that? Rockwood, Tennessee. How about that? That is pretty It looks neat. like brand new, just like the wife. <laughs> <laughs> so you're part of a club as well. It's called the Choo Choo Chapter of the Coca-Cola Collectors Club. It's a local club. We meet uh, every other month. The fourth Saturday of the month. Someone at home is going to be watching this and they're saying, I didn't know there was a Coca-Cola club. You need to tell them just clear some space out in your house because that's where this leads. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's it. What I enjoy is the, the camaraderie. You know, we all have the same interest. Grew up with Coca-Cola. It's yeah. living in a town that had a bottling plant. Did you ever sell anything? You know, if you had an offer you couldn't refuse on some of this stuff. The only thing we ever sold was this year at the National Convention, we sold about three items. How did they talk you into it? <laughs> what you're saying is selling a few things here and there is cheaper than building more house. Yeah, right, yeah, there you go. There is no TV or anything to distract yeah. anybody, and, and we, we actually talk to each other, you know. Yeah, there you go. The moral of the story here is put down the phones, put down the TVs, put down the social medias, get you a Coca-Cola room, and talk to people face to face. <laughs>